hello everyone to this uh, kind of new experience for everyone on the channel instead of let's say creating a game we're going to be playing a game all about code i figured it fits in with the theme of the channel so i guess let's um jump right into this experience playing the farmer was replaced so as you can see we're given a window here there's a very basic python script and they basically want us to create some very small function that uh cause harvest inside of it let's do that that's harvest and harvest will basically get our drone guy to pick up all of the the what i have no idea what this is grass and get us logs hey hey yes but uh let's do this a little bit um yeah i probably should have read up a little bit on this game i just saw some people playing it online but um i'm thinking instead of hitting that a couple of times let's do that ah recursion is working all right okay why am i doing this again? Um, by harvesting grass, you can get hay. Hay can be used to unlock loops. In the unlock me, oh. Hey, the wow loop? Okay, I know what the loops are. Let me just change this. Uh, I mean, just want to get 100 real quick or something. And it's us rid of the main and. Oh, we don't. We actually don't have. Okay. Um, wow true. Oh, yeah. Python missions capital T. Let's do that. Is that quicker than equation or slower than equation? No clue. So what do these buttons do? It pauses this. Okay. This one minimizes it. Nice. I can see the name of the function. And this one creates another function. Yeah. So what else can I do? Yeah. Speed. Ooh, speed of the drone. Okay. Well, quicker. But that doesn't help us when we are doing that. So let us have, um, if can this okay that is a function in and of itself that basically caps the join how can i fix that we'll expand and grass why not now i get more grass and it's bigger much bigger so let's see actually let's have you keep going when i change this function to be like um we could have like a function that just moves it or something let's just call it like continuous and now this would be really cool while wow, true continuous oh must be a code on oh yeah sorry python and all that damn we've increased its speed okay let's create another function i'm going to call it entity plant so here i'm just creating a small function that plants a given entity eventually the function will grow and handle all of the checks for none tilled plants Well, that takes a while to grow, doesn't it? What can I do next? I saw operators. That would be really nice. We can expand the farm. And how do I move? To keep downtime to minimum, let me create a new function. I'm going to call it movement. Instead of this movement function, I'm going to move. Yes. It's going up the best way. Let's try going south. And now that I've done that, what else can I do? I can expand for 50 carrots. Carrots. Okay. I can upgrade grass. Yeah. Increase the yield a tiny bit. The issue is I'm not planting any grass. Can I do like a checkerboard pattern or something? Let me create a new function called checkerboard. Now I'm creating a function that creates a checkerboard pattern. The core concept is to alternate between two crop types based on the parity, even or odd, of the X and Y positions. By ensuring that one crop is placed when both X and Y are either even or odd and the other when they differ, you produce a perfect checkerboard arrangement with the crops alternate seamlessly. This is not say checkerboard bush. Checkerboard bush or none. And excuse me, what? Variables. Um, okay, I guess you move on to reverting really quickly, trying to reduce stun time. Okay, what do I need for carrots? 100. Um, before you can plant carrots, you need to do two new things. First, carrots can only be grown on tilled soil. To till the ground, simply place till. Okay, that is not difficult whatsoever. And because I am a sucker for modularity, let us make this modular. Also, um, give me one second while I resize the screen here, because I realize OBS is covering the wrong stuff. Okay, the screen is now centered. So you guys can now see the entire game view. Isn't that great? Let's create a new function here, and I'm going to pull it. Um... Sorry, uh, and say control C, entity plant, and then let's create entity plant two. I'm 
I'm branching off my original entity plant function to accommodate tillable plants. As a prerequisite, tillable plants require seeds, so I'll verify seed availability and procure additional ones if necessary. Subsequently, I'll confirm the soil's tilt condition, a requirement I'll retroactively incorporate into the original function for non-tillable plants. Lastly, both functions will include a check to guarantee the plot is vacant or grass before planting the entity. Entity plant till entities dot carrots and then entities no wait items dot carrot seed. Oh yeah, that's an issue. If it is empty, if it's not empty, then you return. Ah what is your issue? If it can harvest it, then it's we go into continuous. This is very unfortunate. Let's try that one more time. It's still not working. Why would it not be working? This is so much downtime. I actually hate wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, um, it's all continuous thing. Let's make it better. But first, let me just get... I uh, Okay, let's just make this better. I'm thinking the couple ways you can make this better. Yeah, I know I keep saying it, but eventually it will come true. Initially, for this segment, I just wanted to give some props to the game's developer. It's really well made and a lot of effort clearly went into it. Also, the game's LSP is pretty decent. Even if I kept messing up a bit between moving between different options, because of my new film background. Also, I had a couple issues with combining blocks of code, however it isn't that important in the overall scheme of the game. Next, I created today's largest function, which is implementing inventory management for individual plant supplies based on predefined thresholds. The continuous function receiving these values first assesses crop necessity whilst considering extra requirements for any plant that is used in the purchase of another plant seed. Subsequently, an ALSIF block is employed to optimize crop placement patterns. Those strategies may evolve throughout the video. A dedicated function for complete land coverage with a single crop has been introduced as well, and the harvest function is now integrated with the main function to reduce its appearance in the code and the size of the continuous function. I also use this opportunity to get a couple upgrades like increasing land size and also reading up on some future upgrades. The rest of the segment is going to be devoted to talking about the next couple of videos. Mainly my next video is going to be about Rust Wars Episode 2 and I can't wait for you guys to see all that Leptos and Dioxus have to offer. Also, if you want to see one of my other series come back for it, just leave a comment below and like this video if you want more gaming content. Trees likely, oh my god, trees like to have some space and planting, them right next to each other will slow down their growth. The growth time will double for every tree that is on one of the towers directly to the north, south, west, or whatever. Does not contradict this first statement. You shouldn't place trees next to each other. Trees' rate of growth will double for every tree that's next to it. Might have been right too. Oh, the growth time will double. Okay, so I just need to make sure they do not tile whatsoever. That's gonna be fun. And what do they produce? Oh, thank you. I don't know how to do much of this. Um, a better way of getting wood than bushes. So I'm only using checkerboard. All it means is that I need to. And now we can start having trees. Also, that's really stupid. Oh no, wait, that's kind of also stupid. Following on from the previous discussion, the channel is looking to reaching 10,000 views soon. So if you want anything special to happen, just leave a suggestion down in the comments below and I'll consider it. Oh, we got to our 500 gold. Let's get some pumpkins. Pumpkins, what are they like tree? Grow on tower toes. They require pumpkin seeds to be planted, which cost one carrot each. If every pumpkin is spare is fully grown, they grow together into a giant pumpkin. They what? They grow together into a giant pumpkin. If every pumpkin in a square, which means I want to use the full for pumpkins. And let me actually just uh, minimize you. These pumpkins are going to require a little bit of downtime. And they're also going to require me to... Um, oh, get there, let me get there. Finally, the last voiceover for today is all about pumpkins. There isn't much to talk about, but I just wanted to make it fill the land with pumpkins because they prefer to grow in large groups. Unlike trees, which have to alternate. The question now is... Is the root tariff really important? 
Because I need wood, and yet it's gonna spend more time trying to get carrots. Because I might actually just wanna get rid of this new carrots functionality here, and really just do the main thing I wanted to do, which is either farm carrots, or not farm carrots, farm hay, farm logs, or farm anything else. And this video is almost an hour of reporting. I mean, if you guys wanna see another one, like and subscribe in the comment description below, and I'll do another episode of this, hopefully unlocking the rest of the tree. Oh wow, wouldn't that just be terrific? Absolutely terrific. See you then.